mini donut machine tutorial. Find out all the things we've learned about it. Okay, so this one turns on. This one turns on the donut dropper. Turns on your hopper. This turns on the, the, the thermostat, your, the machine. Yep, turns on the machine and the paddles. There's the thermostat. And then this is is That's the donut your, dropping your donut hopper. hopper. Then there's your counter. Counter of how many donuts. This is how frequently it drops the donuts. Temperature And then yes. turn that back on. So you got your donut hopper. This little dial right here goes to this timer, and there is up to five. Uh, if you get closer, I don't know if you can see it, but right there it says five. Over here it says zero, and then there's one. So this changes how many donuts will actually come out. Okay, anything else in here that you need to know? No. Once your oil is brought up to temperature, you can gauge that by seeing how loud your generator is when it's bearing down to heat the oil versus when it lacks off a little bit. And uh, we typically heat our oil to 220 on the knob. Now those are Celsius, that's not Fahrenheit. Every machine we've seen so far has had a Celsius knob, so we do ours to about 220. We use coconut oil, that's the white stuff you saw in the tray before, and um, it has actually fairly low melting point but it, it has the best flavor and the best smell and it's the healthiest option. I mean, they are donuts, but the coconut oil really does well. Um, once your oil's up, turn on your hopper and let your batter drop. We've had to experiment with a few different batters to find the right consistency. And uh, we make our own homemade batter. We've done a couple different variations of it, but we found the right consistency and everything that works for us. The one thing we've learned about these machines is they are finicky. So it really is a matter of some trial and error when it comes to your oil temperatures, your batter, and everything like that. Now what, what he's doing here is he's holding the donuts back. You want to hold them back until you get about six donuts in the front area. Otherwise, your donuts will go through the machine too fast and they'll be cooked on the outside and doughy on the inside. So that's, again, that's just a trial and error thing that we've learned. Once you get a lot of donuts in the oil, they'll kind of do it, they'll monitor themselves a little bit more because there'll be so many, they, they will push only two through at a time anyway. So um, again, and you can set the timer to be however many seconds apart you want the donuts to drop and that will kind of depend on your oil temperatures a lot of it again just trial and error so as they go through the machine we normally use wooden dowels rather than these tongs we just happen to have the tongs handy when we were testing the machine here but wooden dowels they don't get in the way as much and they're nice to just be able to guide the donuts and to if one doesn't flip by itself with the crate the grates then you can flip it easily and then when it gets down to the end, we just have them flip into a bowl or a pan with, with paper towels to help catch the extra oil. And then if you want, you can put them in cinnamon sugar. We, that's what we do. They taste really great. Some people want them plain, so we usually have both options available. But I would not recommend having them drop right into the cinnamon sugar because it'll, you'll get all that grease in your cinnamon sugar and it'll make it lumpy. So keep those separate as just an option. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, a lot of this was just trial and error for us and it was definitely some hair pulling as we learned. So this knob here, this is your timer that says how frequently the donuts drop, how many seconds apart. That's how many donuts you've made. Here's your temperature gauge here. Again, we do ours about 220. Thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help.